Now Illustre, one of Hawaii's six players with over 20 aces this year. From behind the 10-foot line, Barry Rogers, and it goes long. Rogers was getting high fives from her teammates, but she misses again. Barry Rogers still has not come on track. 3-1 Hawaii. Cross-court serve. This time they go back, set Puikin and block in that violation against Hawaii. Puikin that time a little bit over aggressive, but what Dave showed you, Charlie Wade, Terry Anderson have to like is the way that their blockers are following the scouting assignment so far. And they're pretty much the Bows are getting two blockers up on the important BYU attackers. Back set to Bow and cross court again. It lands wide. This time a little bit too much angle. 2-3 as the freshman from Murray, Utah goes back to serve. Dump and a side out for the Wahine. Smart shot by Heather Bowen that time. Had she dinked down the line, BYU had that covered. It was over the middle blocker that was open. Good peripheral vision by Heather. This young lady came from UC Santa Barbara, which was obviously a top 10 program. She came because of the fan support and to win a national championship, as well as to learn a little bit more about the game. Hey, she's got a lot of fan support here today. We're not even in Hawaii. Little miscommunication there, and a great dig in the back by Mia Shiro. Lima ran toward it and got out of the way. She said, hey, I'm not the setter. And Nikki Hubbard was behind her, and Hubbard let Lima go. Yeah, what, what Hubbard's got to do there, the setter literally has every second ball unless they yell for help. I'm not sure. I didn't hear any help over here anyway, but I've got a headset on, so but, um, I can only assume that she did not yell for help. Is help in, in Portuguese. You think she would have understood? I think she would have. Yeah. Karate is loose. We're tied at three. Rogers gets a piece of that one. Corey Rogers may be the best right side blocker in the country. Excellent blocker. Very solid. Good athlete. Doesn't make many mistakes. Very disciplined. See, short little shuffle step to the right. Lima blocked. Net violation called. Up front. Melissa Lathan that time in the net. The one who went to the outside, play outside hitter last year when Stoyer Bauer was injured. And now she's back in her more normal hitting spot. And she has been extremely quiet. She was hitting negative coming into the second game. Haven't called her name much. Here she goes. That's rather Carpenter. Good dig. Layton over to the side with Rogers. Touches it. BYU trying to steal it back. Knocked over through the block. Karate. Now a free ball for BYU outside. Carpenter cross court. Gets it back. Boy, I tell you, there have been a lot of missed opportunities on three balls. And there was one there for Hawaii. Couldn't put it away. Yeah, they had their chances in that rally, that's for sure. But, boy, if you give Carpenter too many chances, she'll bury it. I think anybody on this court, you give him a second chance, you're going to be in trouble. Over by the bench, kept alive by the Cougars. Great hustle. Free ball for Hawaii. The BYU in transition. And a whiff in the middle by Roberts. And, boy, that'll be a motivator for BYU. A ball that was almost in the water cooler. And a great defensive play. Goyer Bauer plays just back row now with her partial ACL tear, and she gets an ace. 5-3, BYU. She is second on the team in aces. She just got one there. Not a great pass that time. Now BYU in transition. Ball hit long. York on a free ball, so a mistake by BYU. Good hit that time in the middle by Layton. He is another powerhouse. All wax second teamer. He hits the quick in the middle, which BYU does not set that off. They like to set behind the setter a lot. That was unusual right there. All serve long. So this is playing right into Hawaii's cards. They're right into their hand here, John. There's so many rotations going on. Layton's having to serve now. Now she's got a sub for in the back row. She's got Petrilli coming in, but watch for Layton have to stay in the game later on. And she may be a liability in the back row. We'll see. BYU checking how many subs they've used. They get 15. 
block. It's going to be over and out of bounds. Point to the Wahine. 4-5. Both teams rolling up their sleeves, getting a little bit warm in here. Big quick set in the middle, and it lands wide. Weakened and missed. Had a lot of room there, and she missed. So, errors on both sides. We're tied at five. Once again, this particular rotation where Veronica Lima serves, very effective. Ace by Lima. Appreciate really one of the best defensive players in America. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. That, that serve is so tough. That standing line drive serve. So Petrilli, another, this time a short serve. Chris, like you said, yo-yo serve. Roof off of Rogers' face. You know what happened here, John? A yo-yo. Rogers up to the net. She goes all the way up, up inside that three-meter line. Can't has to back up for an approach. She has no run-up. That's right. Now they go deep. Dumped over, easy ball for Hawaii. Let's see if they can put it away. Illustre off the touch, good play by Petrilli. Outside, York over the touch. There's Hawaii though, back set. Roberts, 8-5 Hawaii, and timeout called by the officials. Elaine Michaelis kind of throws the ball away. It's as much emotion you'll see from her, but Hawaii comes back, five unanswered points. Wahine lead by three. Back at the MGM Grand, Hawaii has reeled off five straight points. It is now 8-5 Wahine. And Chris, you talked about the yo-yo serve, the spot serving. Talk about this. Well, here we see Veronica Lima first serving up an ace right there. The serve after that, she serves short. And the next serve after that, she serves deep. So she's really mixing up her serves well. And uh, I give her a lot of credit for this latest bow rally. How about this? Melissa Layton hitting zero. She's a 374 hitter. Corey Rogers hitting negative 167. And Rogers, well, all she does during the season is hit 357. That's why BYU is only hitting 083. Tweakenen hitting negative as well. Kept alive and put over by Bowen. What a great dig by Leah Karate. Ball in. BYU gets the side out. <laughs> BYU not about to give up. Coming out strong after the timeout. The quick one set in the middle. Puikinen trying to get back into positive numbers. Each team with 10 blocks. Each team with 18 errors. Lustre tried to go off the wipe and it went to the back row. There's a ball off the touch. Outside again. Yort one on one. Not a complete swing. Yort had one blocker up. And Lustre missed that one. Tried to go off the high hands and they weren't up high enough for that ball. Smart play though, she, she's gonna air, she should air on that high side. Rogers floats it in the back. Good pass to Hubbard, short set. Net violation called up front on BYU. I think it was Puikinen. No, it was Annalena Smith, the setter. They know Bowen's getting up big and they just wanted to put it down. John, the longer the night goes on, watch for more net violations because the players get tired and they start just struggling more and watch for more service aces or shank passes. The players start losing their concentration. Overpass right there. Bowen, good save though by Rogers. She had the bad pass. Three balls. Petrilli knocks it over. Wahine. Bowen back step. Blocks. It goes over her head and out. Nice little body English there by Bowen not to get hit by that ball. 9-6. Rainbow fans, John, are now mimicking and mocking the BYU fans. Point Rainbows. Instead of Point Cougars, which BYU's been doing this whole tournament. Three ball point again. Rainbow. Petrilli missed past that one. 10-6, BYU. This is what happened last night. UNLV was down 8-0 in game one and 8-1 in game two. And BYU's passing started coming apart. Hawaii leads by four. Timeout Cougars. <laughs> 